Yo, what's up? This is Tuck. Oh, you over there? Yeah, I'm coming. You gonna swing in? Yeah. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Did I sound all right? Did I sound like I'm hot? <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's Tubbs Kruger. You already know what it is, man. It's Taco Terrians going down. Taco Terrians unite. We uptown. We in Harlem. I got Albuera with me. We're at El Paso Taqueria. When did you guys arrive in this part of Harlem? Totally. Uh, we come in into Harlem uh, back in 1993. Uh, we began uh, selling tacos right here around the corner on uh, Third Avenue on 104. Okay. We used to sell uh, tacos in a small um, little, uh, if you want to call it car, but it wasn't even a car. And we were known for our tacos. So we make uh, great salsas, uh, selection of tacos, and the neighbor welcomes us. You know, it was a group of uh, guys, they come in from Mexico and start a small little business. And uh, you're all family? All family members. The founders are uh, uh, two brothers and uh, one of his best friends uh, from Puebla. You guys got good tacos here, man. I had a couple of good ones. What do you yeah. guys, what do you feel is the most famous taco you guys have? Where uh, I think you try uh, the Gobernador, right? Oh. The Gobernador, yeah, that was one of your favorites. Yeah, hey, I might <laughs> have to get some of those to go. We try to focus on corn and try to make our own uh, tortillas in the house. That's a new concept, and the future we try to do is the flavored tortillas. Mm. We're trying to play around with creating like spinach, jalapeno, even uh, chipotle flavored tortillas. That's we try smart. to, yeah, we try to come with a uh, a new idea on tacos, and uh, but definitely I would say corn is the best uh, source of thing you use for tacos because that's where uh, traditional tacos are uh, eating in. Back in Mexico, I used to go to a place and want to get a taco in the neighbor, and you go where it's Taco Bell and it's like crispy shell yeah, and the yeah. ground beef, and you're like, that's not a real that's taco. Not. And they pass the wrong information to people. They they you're supposed to have a taco with uh, shredded cheese and sour cream and pico de gallo, and that's not you're not getting all the flavors that authentic uh, taco you should have. Now El Paso being here for so long, and you guys are part of the like a history of this neighborhood. There's got to be like some type of big celebration or um, or a holiday that you guys have like annually that's like a big thing in this in this. Yeah, when you're talking about a big holiday and you're talking about El Paso, it's definitely Cinco de Mayo. Uh, Cinco de Mayo is uh, the day where uh, we open the doors even an hour earlier and uh, the soon we open the door you see a line at least 20 people trying to get into El Paso. <laughs> That's the big day that if you want to come you're going to be squished but it's a way to fit. Even, even standing or that but uh, you will fit in it. That's nice. You might have to wait 15, 20 minutes to get sit down, but people don't mind. Patience is key, right? tacos people involved. People don't mind. I see people stand by the bar and pull up their hand and order some tacos and order a margarita, and they're happy, they join, and they're gone, you know, they have a good time. Yo, so big shout out to El Brower over here at El Paso Taqueria on 1643 Lexington Avenue in Harlem. Make sure y'all pull up, man. The tacos are crazy. The passion fruit margarita is hitting. I need like at least one or two of those unless I'm gonna get this mezcal kick going. But make sure y'all pay attention to Taco Terrians, man. Taco Terrians Unite, man. It's Taco Tuesday. Yeah.